just replying to this question here about GP nursing and what does a GP nurse even do? Because actually there's a lot of misconceptions uh, around about the role and I don't think many people realise what work is involved in GP practices. It's incredible. So firstly, you will see everything, anything, everyone, anyone, any age, everything possible which can be quite tricky. That's probably the most challenging thing about GP is you need to know a bit of everything about everything and you have to wear many nursing hats. So you will see things like babies for their baby vaccines. You might see children. So for example, I saw a child, not just for the vaccine, but they'd cut their finger, they had stitches and I was there to remove their, their stitches in a two-year-old. Um, and I remember at the time actually really panicking, thinking, oh my God, I've got a two-year-old for stitches out. This is gonna be horrific. They're not gonna sit still. I had so much judgment in my mind, which was completely wrong of me. Uh, and the, the gorgeous little one come in, sat there, put the arm on the table like this and just sat there looking at me i removed the stitches and i was just looking at her like are you okay <laughs> she didn't budge and she went thank you and left and i was just there like wow how wrong was i children are great then you'll see adults uh, so again it might be for vaccines it might be for injections it might be stitch removals wound dressings it might be for their long-term health conditions so they might have diabetes so you might be doing your diabetes checks they might have asthma so you might be doing the asthma checks they might have had a stroke so you might be doing your stroke checks and monitoring they, the, you might see things for cervical screening or smear tests also known as you might see a variety of mental health patients as well for uh, things like mental health assessments, which is something that I did in one particular clinic I worked at. Um, and as part of that, because they were under the psychiatrist and on a lot of medication, um, and with certain medication, you need an ECG, blood pressure, height, weight, and all of that to make sure that everything's okay, and blood tests and things to check on bits and bobs. Um, so we would do that for the psychiatrist, and then it gets sent off to them just to make sure that everything's okay, and they can continue with medication and therapy and whatnot. Um, so things like that I would do as well. I would see people for things like post-surgery, so hip replacements. I used to get a lot of hip replacements and knee replacements actually and removing clips um, from the wound and then putting the dressing on, uh, just checking them over, following them up as well, making sure that they're all okay after their surgery. I used to do as well sexual health, contraception checks as well, so hypertension monitoring, I had a lot of that as well, a lot of hypertension, blood pressures, um, a lot of health promotion as well with all of the long-term conditions, any condition, uh, always health promotion with everything we do as well. NHS health checks. So if you don't know what an if you don't know what an NHS health check is, it's when you are 40 years old, you're invited to an NHS health check if you don't have any conditions already. So it's for people that are perfectly healthy um, and they don't know they've got any conditions. So they'll be doing your height, weight, blood pressure, blood tests as well to check for things like diabetes, um, cholesterol, that sort of thing to make sure that you're in good health because prevention is key. So at that point when they're doing all of these things and the measurements and everything, um, I would also do the, the health promotion there and then as well just to advise healthy lifestyle, exercise, that sort of thing to be healthier for longer to prevent these things because prevention is definitely key. I used to sit in with the doctor and help the doctor to do things like implants or coil inserts or removals as well because we were a practice that did that sort of thing there and the doctor was trained to do it. So as you can see that is a lot. GP nurses do so so much and also we do see emergency situations as well it's not just the prevention and health promotion and um, primary care type things we do see acute things as well so someone might be having an asthma attack it might not be able to be controlled in clinic and we need to get the ambulance I had a patient as well that had to be sent straight to hospital because it was a suspected heart attack and we had to deal with that there and then just there's things that come through the door that people have put off maybe or they can't get an ambulance or they can't get into the hospital and so they end up at the reception desk like in the middle of a heart attack or breathless they can physically not breathe um, and you will have to deal with that sort of situation I mean it's not common um, but I have seen that a few times so always be prepared and also um 
I don't think I explained this at the start either, but you'll see all fields of nursing in GP. Even though I'm an adult nurse, I would see children, I'd see mental health, I'd see learning disabilities. Hope that helps. I know it's very, very different from ward settings, but it is an absolutely incredible, amazing, for me, it is the best. It's the best, it's the best place to work, <laughs> but it's not for everyone. So yeah, I hope that helps. If you've got any more questions, ask away and I'll try my best to answer it.